let's go see what this little varmint plankton wants. You okay? You look kind of green. My uh, uh, lasers hurt so much to be helpful. Need hatred soon. Okay, first of all, Sandy, that's a little racist calling him green. That's all I'm going to say. And two, Plankton, what are you what are you even talking about, man? Anyways, what's up, Ant City? And welcome back to some more SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. In the last one, we got through the entirety of the Museria, which was kind of wild. They, they had maximum security in there, in there for, like, no reason. And in today's episode... Oh, wait, wait, hold up. Before we get to there, I'm rushing. I'm jumping the gun a little bit. We also finally made it to the Trench of Advanced Darkness, which seems to be maybe the last area. I'm not sure. And, yeah, we also learned we gotta take out these lasers, which is what we're gonna do in today's episode. We got a bunch of lasers on the side to take out, which I'm assuming also takes out this main laser. It's something Plankton told us to do, so it's probably nothing good, but we don't have a choice. So, let's just go ahead and jump right in. Let's get started. So, is there a sock down there already? I just saw somebody's problem. We did spot one, all right. So, I'm gonna head down here, grab this sock. Oh, what's that button? Hold up. Spin, let's hit this button. Is this the... What does that do? Oh, another swinging thing by the bus stop. Okay. Oh, it leads to a golden spatula. I just noticed that. By which bus stop, though? Whoa! I didn't even notice all that. Get on. Yeah, there's a laser here. We probably got to turn that off. Whoa, bro. Get out of here. So it's had a bus stop but with a kid next to it. I don't think it's this one, then. Yeah, it's not this one. There was a kid next to it. So there's another bus stop somewhere. And we just unlocked a way to swing to another golden spatula so that's good so we're gonna just for now head i guess we're just gonna head to the left my left i should say yeah we're gonna have to head this way then yeah we're gonna see what's up over here so let's body these guys and take out the res the duplicatron or whatever it's called and then we're gonna body this dude oh he's he's trying to snipe me again i'm not dealing with that after last that the, the last two episodes ago i should say so we body this and then oh the lasers are gonna start shooting the main one. Oh, so we hit yeah we hit these buttons to make them take out the big one okay where did you come from i thought i killed you get out of here don't snipe me yeah okay so we're gonna go ahead and just keep we gotta get to all these lasers and take them out but but yeah just the, yeah the, all these why are there so many enemies so far though it, honestly if you've seen all the episodes at least for the rock bottom parts like the last three episodes rock bottom has been crazy just the whole area in general has been really really like insane like either that or i'm just really bad at this area or something i don't know but it for me personally it's just been really insane this whole segment let's hit this got another laser going i wonder why the the main laser is just like not shooting but yeah we gotta have them all aim to that one to take it out it seems to be like a common thing in this game though you have to go to like different areas oh there's the last painting so we can go talk to mrs puff later Make it, can we make it, can we make it? No, we're going down here. <laughs> I'm so glad this little ledge is down here because I would have died otherwise. Oh, we're back. Swing. Ooh, look at that. Wait, where do we gotta go? Oh, no, we need to go that way. Turn around. Ooh, we got so much air with that, though. Oh, I bet I don't even need that. I'm gonna take it anyways, though, in case I run out. Ooh, okay. <laughs> there we go. So we're gonna head over here. And those things are gonna snipe me, of course. And then I'm gonna body him. Okay. So we're gonna get the last painting so now i guess when we're done with the area we'll go we'll come back in and talk to mrs puff give her the paintings she's doing some criminal activities or whatever we're gonna we're gonna fuel it though i guess don't do that in real life kids but um yeah if someone's asking you to like go collect something for them and uh doesn't seem right don't do it oh that was all the lasers okay cool so what's that one gonna shoot at it just cut a platform in half okay um so that gives us access. Oh yeah, that's access towards the exit. Okay. Okay, cool. So we got all the lasers shooting now. Just shot in a circle. I th I, for some reason, I thought there was another area to go to. We also need to still find out where that one bus stop was at. Was that towards like the beginning? Beginning? I said there was like a kid. There's a bus stop with a kid. We unlocked a golden spatula. So let's try to find that. Also, why is this platform moving? Oh, because we can go over there, but we don't need to. What's over this way then? Oh, this is back. Okay, let me run back to the beginning. Oh no, because the beginning of this was just a slide. Oh no, I see it right there. The golden spatula is right here. Okay, I was right. 
So, oh, that, okay, because last episode I was wondering what this was here for, and now I know. We need to get, get up here to use that to get that golden spatula. I didn't even see that golden spatula last episode. So yeah, we can take this, go up here, and then actually from here we can go to the exit. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and just go over there. Cool, so, yeah, but I'm pretty sure that was everything over there. I'm pretty sure we explored all the area. Did I go straight? Oh, yeah, I did, because there was a laser over there. Okay. So we need to... Actually, I think we are supposed to stay up there, but... I think we can make this jump. I think we can make this jump. We're going to try it. Yeah, we made it. Okay. Um, How do we get a... I have to, try, to try, try to make the jump again? I guess so. Go for it. Well, at least open the box. Okay, yeah, we can make this. Dang, that's thing sniping me. Whoa, what am I supposed to do? I think I need to go switch to SpongeBob. Let's go. <laughs> I think that's what the box is there for, so I can switch back to Spongebob and sneak past those things. But yeah, Sandy cannot handle that enemy. I want to get those that underwear out there real quick. If I can. Is that like invisible? Why? You see like there's like a weird layer on top of it? When I move the camera? Oh no, I think it... Oh no, it's on top of the... It's the pillars in the background. It just looked weird. Fresh, like a I, I just... I don't... Alright, so... Yeah, back in this box. Alright, we're back over here now. Went through the box. And I was sneaking though. What? How was he attacking me if I'm tipped? What? I was tipped away. How why is he shooting me? Huh? I was literally tiptoeing though. How did he still snipe? I don't understand. Try it again. Okay, let's kill these guys first. Bro, let me back on. Okay. We're gonna tiptoe through here. We gotta just kill him. Okay. I die! Oh my. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Okay, we're back. So we're gonna go quick. We're gonna go quick. We're gonna go quick. So kill this dude. Run. Go. Run, run, run. Get over here. Get over here. Okay. Made it through. Okay. Please. No! All right, be back over here. Did I really just do a twat? Oh my god, why am I an idiot? I'm an idiot! Okay. <laughs> okay, this time, let's be patient. We're gonna blow this up still. But let's wait for the platform to swing back towards me. There we go. Then we'll jump on it. And then we gotta wait for it to swing that way. And then we're gonna jump onto this one. And then we're gonna wait again. Why are they just jumping off? <laughs> Tactical nuke! There's a nuke! Coming! We're gonna go back this way. Then we're gonna jump across here and die. We're just gonna die. Okay. It's gonna be one of those episodes, huh? Alright. Alright. Third third this definitely isn't just a third time. I was gonna say third time's the charm, but you know. This this is the run. I hope so, but how do I get to that platform without dying? I don't understand. These guys just run off. They just kill themselves. That guy's just floating there. Alright, we're gonna try to, like, just utilize our jump more. There we go. Okay. You just have to jump. You have to go at, like, the peak of your jump. It's really weird. But, finally made it this far. But we haven't hit a checkpoint yet, so we still gotta be careful. Look at these peakies following me, bro. Leave me alone. There. Look at that. Just look at that fish floating there in. What? Whoa! What? Kill this guy. Okay. Finally, we got the golden spatula. We are out of here. No, we're not. We're still in his range. We are in his range. Tiptoe. Tiptoe. Please. Thank you. Oh, wait. We can just leave. Can we? Down, downtown rock bottom. There's another area still. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is the exit sign. Uh, we're just going to go. Goodbye. <laughs> Thank gosh. Okay, so now we're in another new segment after going to the Trench of Advanced Darkness. Wait, is this where I w Oh, this is where I was before. That's the museum. Mr. Krabs, what are you doing here? <laughs> Mr. Krabs is just down there. Let's go see what he wants. Yeah, because that's the museum. This is like another segment of that same area. Let's see what Mr. Krabs wants first. There's a box here, too. And this is the slide. Okay, let's talk to Mr. Krabs. Hey, Mr. Krabs, what are you doing? Well... I could have sworn me I saw a golden spatula here a minute ago, but I think it fell down this slide. 
down the slide. It might have broken its leg. I've got to save it. Go, boy, go! Save that poor spatula! Okay, cool. Another golden spatula. But, so it looks like this might be the final segment. I, I hope. Oh, yeah, look. There's a taxi over there. And it, oh yeah, you see the, oh, I get it. It's the road back up to Bikini Bottom, like in the episode. Okay, this looks like it's actually the final segment. So we're going to hit this button. And then, oh, we got to go quick. Okay, I'm assuming there's a box at the end of this. I have like no health. Oh no. I'm assuming there's like a box at the end of the slide. So we can get, get back up. Because there was a box at the top. So I'm assuming there's a box at the bottom too. Yeah, I was wondering how you got to the slide, but now I know. You're like going through the whole area. Please tell me I'm making it time. Please tell me I'm making it. Oh yeah, there's a golden spatula. This, oh yeah, this is a different area. It looks the same. It despawned. I was too slow. So that's where the slide... Oh, remember the slide I jumped onto before? It leads to that golden spatula right there. Okay. We just gotta go back down and try it again. I'll meet y'all when I actually successfully do it. So yeah. Oh, I tried to cheese it. I'm going to do that again, I promise. Let's go. We can cheese this. Please don't die. Please. I made it this far. This patch is right there. It's in my sight. Okay, we got it. <laughs> Let's go. I just cheated the slide. I just jumped off like halfway through and evaded. it. But yeah. So you saw him trying to nuke me at the end? So yeah, we got this patch low. Let's head back up and let's see what Mr. Krabs has to say now. Yeah, what you gotta say now, Mr. Krabs? I got the spatula. Nice job, SpongeBob! That was some fancy sliding! Thanks! I guess all that pant wax I bought is finally paid off! Pant wax? He bought pant wax? So, what is this for? Can we become Sandy? Can we become Sandy? I don't know if we need her right now, though. So, we're gonna just go back to SpongeBob and then we're gonna head up there. I think we're finally done with Rock Bottom. This place has been a trip. <laughs> like, if y'all have seen the last, like, three or four episodes. Like, like I said that earlier, but this place has just been, has been interesting to say the least, but yeah, so there's like a taxi stop. Is this the beginning? I think this is the very beginning area. Yeah, look at that. There's a platform here that will take me back down, I'm assuming. Yeah, it takes me down. Oh, there's Mrs. Puff. We can give her the paintings now. So yeah, this is literally the very start. So that's kind of cool. This whole area is really good though. It was pretty difficult, I'm not going to lie, but mostly just from stupid stuff. But, oh yeah, because that's the vending machine from before. Yeah, so but this area is cool. Like I, honestly, this might be my, one of my favorite areas in this game. Just the atmosphere is all really good. The stage was fun. There was so much like exploration, and then it all ends back at the beginning. Like, what a good way to end it off. And then you can go give Last Mrs. Puff. Of work accounted for, Mrs. Puff. I left no strange glowing stone unturned. Well now, nice work, SpongeBob. The museum will finally be able to reopen, and. Here's your reward. So wait, Mrs. Puff's trying to say she just wanted the museum to reopen? Why didn't she just tell me that the first time? The first time I asked her, she was all like, Don't ask questions you aren't prepared to handle the answer to. And then now she's about to just sit here saying like, Oh, yeah, the museum can finally reopen. Like, okay, Mrs. Puff, anyways. Let me grab this up. Let's laugh at her. Okay, so before we leave, though, I want to check this. Did we get all of them? What are we missing? Lasers are fun and good. Wait. We missed one from the lasers. What? We we got everything up. We missed a missed a spatula at the lasers. I'm gonna head back really quick. Hold on. Uh yeah, I'll cut to when I find the spatula, but I wanna go here, so give me a second. Nothing a little southern elbow grease can't handle. Oh, we were, we were supposed to come back to talk to Plankton. That's all it was. Okay. Yeah, th that's literally all it was. Okay. <laughs> I thought I missed something bigger, but no, he's had to talk to Plankton again. Okay. So, let's talk to him again real quick. Now go step in front of the lasers. Nice Jesus. Trash, Rimp. Jesus Christ, Plankton. He said go step in front of the lasers? What's wrong with him? But anyways, we know what's wrong with him. He's evil. But, yeah, that's all we had to do. Just go talk to Plankton again. I kind of skipped over that. But yeah, now... If we check the map again, we are officially done with Rock Bottom. This area was really cool. See, this might be one of my favorite areas because you could also do it all in one run. You could do everything. Get all the socks, the spatulas. Like, this might be so far, in my opinion, like their best put together area. They really put a lot of effort. Just 
the way it looks, the music, everything about it was just super, it was just really good. I don't know, it was just all put together really well, and I really liked it, so... Yeah, props to the team for this. Like, let's clap it up. Let's clap it up for them. You know, they did, they outdid themselves with this stage. So, I'm excited to see what the other stages are going to be like. So, yeah, next we're going to head to the Mermelayer, which seems maybe pretty sure. I'm not sure. There's only four stocks. Sand Mountain seems long. But, yeah, like I said, we're about halfway done. Because after we do these areas, we just have these three. I'm assuming Chumbuck is last, though. We really just have two other ones. And then these bonus ones from like this Patrick socks and then the shiny objects like yeah but yeah for now though we're gonna switch back to spongebob and uh, if i can switch oh switch it's not let it be switch there you go I switch back and then we're just gonna go ahead and leave we're gonna head back to the oop. we're gonna head back to the entrance of rock bottom All right, so yeah, we finished rock bottom. We're done with this area completely. We didn't miss a single thing. I'm I'm proud of. After all that hardship we went through, I'm glad. Like, I'm kind of glad we don't ever have to come back here again after what I went through. But at the same time, I did really like this area. It was just there was a lot of stupid stuff that I, that it put me through. So for now, though, let's head back up to Bikini Bottom. All right, we're back at Bikini Bottom now. It feels good to finally be back here, but yeah. So yeah, we can't unlock this last area yet. We've only got 30 gold. Oh, 30. Oh, we have 35 gold in this map. Wow, we have a lot more than I thought. So yeah, Sand Mountain is the next area we could go to, but we're actually gonna go ahead and head into the Mermel layer because I went bottom to top because it seems like that's what they intended for the map. So yeah, we're gonna head in here. Checkers, the king of man contact sports. Yeah, this was one of the late. This is like the. He looks just like. Okay, I'm sorry. I did not mean to hit this elderly lady. Oh, this guy's elderly too. I was beating him up his counterpart downstairs at rock bottom. He was like an alien though. Oh, we can watch TV. It's a bikini bottom news update. We're getting unconfirmed reports that the robot menace is emanating from the chum bucket. The proprietor Plankton has released the following statement. Hear me now. I'll crush you all beneath my... And now back to your regular programming, Retirement Home Girls Gone Wild. He's really watching Retirement Home Girls Gone Wild. If I watch it again, is it the same this thing? Is a bikini bottom yeah, it is. News. Hear me now. I'll crush you all beneath my... And... Yeah, it's, it's the exact same. Okay, so, um... Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and head to the Mermel layer. Cause like I was saying though, is based on the map. Cause if we have to start at rock bottom, and same thing with even like jellyfish fields, we had to start there. And then we kind of moved to different areas. So I'm assuming it's bottom to top. So, cause like even next is Sand Mountain. So I'm assuming other than Chum Bucket, Flying Dutchman's Graveyard's like the final, final area. Let's see how long this place is. Oh, it doesn't seem that long, but it could be. I'm not sure. I'm just, I base it off of how many socks and stuff there are. It's like Sand Mountain's got 10 socks. So I'm assuming it's a pretty long area, but Flying Dutchman's Graveyard's only got three. So it probably won't be that long. This is pretty long. Because I even look, Rock Bottom had nine socks, but it was a pretty long area. Like, it wasn't super duper long, but it was pretty long. But, uh, you know, y'all are lucky. Because we still have some, t like, a, a good amount of time left before we have to end off the episode. So, we're actually going to go ahead and get the Mermaid Lair started in this episode, too. So let's talk to Mermaid Man. Oh, yeah, enter the Mermaid Lair. Let's go. Why did SpongeBob just slide in there like that? Also, this music. Anyway, yo, what? Is, the music in this game is kind of fire. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, it's so good. Let's try to blow this up. There we go. Let's run over here. So yeah, we're at least gonna get started on this area. Um, yeah, we've got a good amount to do. Yeah, Murder Man and Barnacle Boy down here. I don't know how they got down here before me. Barnacle Boy, or Mermaid Man, clearly was still sitting in the chair. Uh, are we supposed to mold these? No, we can't. Okay, well, I don't know how we're supposed to get these guys. Can we jump to them without them going away. Oh, yeah, we can. Oh. Oh, that one disappeared. Alright, anyways. Let's see what they gotta say to us. Because, yeah, look at this area, though. It looks pretty cool. Um, ooh! 
the drop, the bass drop. Hold on. This song is fire. Okay, anyways. Mermaid Man oh. and Barnacle Boy. I skipped the line on accident. You shouldn't sneak up on Mermaid Man like that. His heart's not so good. Come to think of it, nothing on him is that good anymore. Sorry, Mermaid Man. It's just that I'm always so excited to see you two. Standing in your awesome presence gives me the chills of justice. See? I've got goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps on my... All right, kid. Knock it off. Just tell us what you want. Well, I really want a new pair of sunglasses. Patrick sat on my old ones. That's not what I meant. <sighs> Actually, it's a good thing you showed up, young sponge of goodness. It is? It is? Yes! A bunch of evil robots have taken over the Mermelair security system. It's up to you to shut it down and stop them! But why him? We're perfectly capable superheroes. Because it's Thursday and we have a whole bunch of doctor's appointments. Ah, fish sticks. I forgot. Go talk to the Mermelair computer in the next room. She'll tell you what to do. I accept this awesome responsibility, Mermaid Man. You won't be disappointed. Shamed, maybe, but not disappointed. To the doctor's office! Away! Alright, so they have, like, doctor's appointments and stuff to go to, and we gotta Shine. go talk to the computer. See what, let's see, they got anything else to go say? see the computer in the next room. She'll tell you what to do. Alright, so we gotta talk to the computer, right? It's so... Any sponge, it's super sponge. Super so sponge. Let's see what the sign has to say. Don't step on the red, red squares of the disco floor. Oh, that's it? Just don't step on the red squares? I step on the yellow one. Is yellow just telling me, like, it's about to turn red? How about this? Let's see. Yeah, that's what it seems like. Okay, pretty simple concept. Just don't step on the tiles. Pretty easy. Can we get to that? Oh, can I bubble bowl? Hold up. Can I act? Th th this is gonna be sick. Watch this. Oh, I definitely can. I just shot it too high. Watch this. This is gonna be sick. If I do it right. Watch this. Got it. Look at that. That is sick. I'm sick. I'm good at the video game. I'm very good at video games. Let's get up here. Oof, he hit me. And then they hit themselves, and then they're dead. Well, look at that cowboy dude up there. He said, yeehaw! Yeah, where are them little? Anyways. These poles are power generators. Don't touch them or the energy beam. Oh, we can't even touch the pole itself. Got it, okay. That energy lasts and a lot. Alright. There's a robot. Let's see what he's gonna say. This robot's name is Arf. His name's all because he has a dog in his cage. I just noticed that. We had to bubble ball him to beat him. All right, then there, you little dog. You see that little sponge-looking thing? I need you to go get him. Go get him, Arf. Jump him. Jump him in the butt. Jump him. Oh, well, yeah, yeehaw. Now, I reckon it's time for the other two dogs to get to doing their work. Jump on him. Blow up. Yeah, I'm hitting him with my little musky. Yeah. Ooh, I'm good at my job. Yeehaw. How did they set that up in the mermaid though? Oh, bubble ball. Him. Like oh, we can take out his leg. That's what we're supposed to do. And he can now fly away. Victory. Is this like a mini boss kinda? These dogs are really trained to eat sponges though. I hit him. Okay, we can't just hit him. <laughs> so yeah, I, I guess we're supposed to use Bubble Bowl to stay away from him easier. I guess we just run up on him. He can still hit. He he kinda seems like a mini boss. Alright, because he like runs away. He's probably gonna become a, like a common enemy, huh? Anyway, let's bubble bowl you. There you go. Let me... Oh, let's see what the sign says. You can use bubble bowl to turn paddle wheels. Bowl one side of the paddle to make it turn. Oh, cool. So we can do this. It didn't turn? Um, oh, there it goes. You gotta just turn it that way. I do it again? Can I make it go that way again? No, I want it to go the other way. But we gotta bowl it this way. Move! Why isn't it moving? There you go. Don't want to get that pair of underwear out there. I don't know how to get... What is that? Another place in the bubble. I think that's the computer we're supposed to talk to, right? It said in the next room, so maybe it's through there. Uh, let's see. Is this the computer? 
No, this is not the computer. Okay. Yeah, we'll probably end up talking to the computer in the next episode. We'll try to at least get to the next room, though. Because, yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll get to the room with the computer, and then we'll actually talk to it next episode. So let's bubble bowl this. Ooh. Oh, the invisible boat mobile. Okay, that's cool. I like that. I like that. That's cool. it's, it's literally just a normal boat, though. It's funny. Oh, it would have been cool if the model actually stayed. Like, if you, like, look, if I'm, if I jump on it right now, I'm on it, but then it disappears and I fall. It would have been cool if it just stayed. Let's see what this says. Bubble Bowl can also be used to press buttons. Why are they, like, just now teaching me about the Bubble Bowl stuff? When, like, they've, I've already had it. Like, I think this area is cool because it's teaching a bunch of new stuff. Oh, and it opens up this platform so I can get over there. Oh. Some hammer bros. That's what I'm calling them for now on Hammer Bros. Alright. We got this. We got a box. Does this box go anywhere? I think it. I think there was a place at the beginning with the box. Uh, anyways, we got a, our first golden spatula. So, yeah, let's laugh at him, SpongeBob. Laugh at the competition. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty. that's pretty much it, though. I think this next room is going to lead. Let's see. It says Marmalade Main Chamber. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure that's where the computer's at. So, we're actually gonna go ahead and save that for the next episode. I'm gonna do one quick run through. Let's hold on, let's hop in the box and see where that takes me, if, if anywhere. <laughs> yeah, let's hop in quick. Get in there, SpongeBob. Get in the box. There we go. Oh, yeah, see, it does take me back to the beginning. I thought so. So, yeah, then we can use this to go back to Shady Shoals. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, we already got our first bachelor, just this top of the entrance. I mean, we can't see the rest yet, obviously, because we haven't gotten those yet, but. Yeah, we're actually going to go ahead. I'm going to jump in the box real quick. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and end the episode off right there. Uh, you know, kind of leave you all on a little cliffhanger. Because, yeah, we got to talk to the supercomputer next. See what we were supposed to do down here in the Mermelayer. So, but yeah, that's basically it for this episode. So, hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all for watching. And if you really did like this video that much, make sure you drop a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you might go ahead and do it. And if you want to know why, why should I subscribe? Uh, if you like my videos that much and you want to see more of them, you want to know when they're coming out right then and there. If you subscribe and turn on notifications, then you'll know whenever I'm uploading. So, yeah. And if you like this video that much, make sure you share it around to your grandma, your grandpa, your co-workers, your manager, whoever you want to share it with. And if you really like this episode, you might want to go ahead and put it down into your favorites playlist. It's kind of our little thing here on this channel, you know. But, yeah. Till next time, though. I'll see you all later. And peace. Have a good day, y'all. This song is still fire, by the way.